as I said, if we have console dot uh, right line, and I say one plus one. Normally, the pro the computer operated as I, I told you to output the addition of one and one. So if I run this, it outputs true for me. That means the computer understands that the computer understands that this statement means that it is supposed to add one and one together. So it's when I did the computation and then output the result for me. So in C sharp, anything that ends with with this semicolon is a complete statement. Just like in English language, a complete statement ends with full stop. A question ends with question mark. The same it is in C sharp. So in C sharp, a complete statement normally ends with this semicolon. So most times, if you don't put this semicolon at the end, it says uh, something is expected somewhere, so that program will not run normally. So normally, this would be a statement in C sharp. So you could have also the right line, hello world. This is still a statement because it ends with that semicolon. Now, another concept is the concept of operators. If I say int my value uh, equals, well, let me just say 22 plus 20, 225. Oh, well, normally, uh, let me let me just put it the right way it should be. V Okay. Now, inside here also, this is a complete statement also because it ends obviously with the semicolon. The concept I to is the concept of the operators. Now, we have this plus sign. It's what we call an arithmetic operator because it's normally it does normal arithmetic. Adding 22 and 225 together, then assigns the value to my value. So if you say it now, console.write line, my value, it outputs the addition of 22 and 225, which normally should be. Yeah, so the answer is 247. So in C sharp, this plus is an operator. We can also have minus, of course. So if you run this, it will, it will do the subtraction operation for us, then it gives us the results. Then another operator we normally use. So in C sharp, we have arithmetic operators normally, and we have logical operators. Those are the two major operators we have in C sharp. So, the normal arithmetic operators we have will be sorry. So the arithmetic operators, arithmetic operators, we have the plus which does addition. We have minus. Let me just use a multi-line comment for this. Okay. And then the minus obviously does subtraction, subtraction. to make everything align properly all right and then this does subtraction division. sorry division uh, the, the, what's wrong with my english Nah, 
I did an Ojoro there. You realize if I remove this, it recognizes it as then it says there's an error, something, something happened. So what I introduced there, I wish I would have done this earlier, is an escape sequence. It means that this forward slash is the C preserved character, of course. So normally, if you're using a reserved word or character in C sharp, you have something called an escape sequence, an escape character that you always use to tell the compiler that please ignore whatever I have here. I don't want to reserve for you, but I still want to use it. So this backslash is what you use to escape any error. That's why I call it an escape character in C sharp. So you realize if I remove it, I have my error. So it's normally seeing this as the end of the comment. But I still have a comment I want to put. So I will just go ahead and escape this. So this is for division. And then star is for multiplication. multiplication. Remember, it is not x. It is star. Asterisk. That's the one above it. So that's a multiplication. So I guess those are all the basic arithmetic operators we might we might be using all along. So if you now say you want to add the value, you normally use the plus uh, operator. If you want to have uh, division, use the slash. Another popular one that we sometimes use is the percentage. That gives the remainder operator. So if you say, let's just try it out. If you say console dot right line twenty five three. So what it does is it divides twenty five by three, just like we learned in primary school. And twenty five over three should be eight remainder one. So the answer here should actually be 1 if we are really correct. But let us find out about that. Let me comment this out. Let me also comment this out. Okay. So we are right. The answer is 1. So the mod operator well, i call this mod because <laughs> that was the first name i knew it to be but it's called the remainder operator so it returns the remainder of any division so for example now if when we get to the part where we are cracking ahead with some max code mm -hmm. we will use it quite a lot if you are finding your prime numbers uh, if a number is divisible by something or not we'll use it a lot so take note of it it should be one of your best operators that you will use. Uh, I'm not doing any remote connection. Okay. Right, so the next one that will probably be will be the logical operators. Remember, um, let's say in first value equals 43 and second value equals 23. Now, another kind of operators is the logical operators that we use to determine if something is equal to something or lesser than something or greater than something. You remember, we visited quite a lot, but we never understood how it really works. So, let us really understand them now. So, the first one Nobody is prone to error. <laughs> All right, so the first one is the greater than. So if this compares two values. If I say, instead of having to write it this way, let me do this. 